Peggy 16. Pure and radiant, he wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. Lordship Samson, in one so bereft of light. I presume you, too, are keen to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's me Indy, I hope you're having a wonderful evening and can spare me some time to get into tonight's Elden Ring stream, because we have done it! We have finally managed to complete a first playthrough of Elden Ring here on the channel. And on that note, if you weren't here last time, welcome back! I hope you've managed to catch up and seen the struggle that it was, and if you are just watching at home and chilling and you can't make it to the chat, hiya, do me a favour. Take a little photo of the mug. Come on, witness, witness the beauty. Are you ready? I'm going to hold for three seconds. Get your phone out. I can see you getting your phone out. Go on, take a picture. Go on. It doesn't last long. <laughs> and what we're going to do then is if you could do me a major favour, if you could hit that share button, remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you have social media, if you have any means of sharing me onto other people that might want to come and join us for this quite casual little stream today, um, please, please do. And even if you're not going to share it on, just hit that share button for me, all right? Thank you so much. And without further ado, I'd want to wish you a wonderful evening and say hello to the people that I do have here in the chat with me. Hello to Tilty and Captain JM. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Now, oh, a moment, an absolute minute and a moment we've had today, all right? But, but, today we're going to play with some stuff. We're going to play with things that I haven't really messed around with as of yet. So that's going to involve us restarting the character. That's going to involve us trying out new weapons, a fashion show. It's all happening. <laughs> it's all happening, all right? And the purpose of that is to kind of refine and see what my options are when it comes to moving forward with the DLC. Now, if you did see on the community page, I did put up a little page, and I can confirm the next game I'm going to be playing in between now and the DLC is Lies of P, which is another Souls-like game. I don't think it's by FromSoft, but it's got some very good reviews, and I really do like the atmosphere and the vibe, and I'm quite enjoying the Souls-like play style. So, 
go figure, all right? So, without further ado, mash that reaction button. I'm gonna go down into my little corner, all right? And let's crack on with this evening's Elden Ring stream. Now, I thought that I would just preface here, all right? With a little explanation of our ending, because it's kind of a bit meta, and <laughs> Like a lot of things in Elden Ring, sometimes it does benefit you to go and just have a little bit more of a read and get a bit more of an understanding of what exactly our ending means for the lands between. Now obviously you can see we set the Erd Tree on fire, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit this on in just a second. Let me just get that over there. Okay, so the ending that we got was Rani's ending, which is called The Age of Stars. Now, let me just, here we go. So you should be able to see that up on the screen now. I'm going to put this up here, right? And let's have a little, let's have a little gander, all right? Let's have a little, um, a little chat about what is going on with Ronnie's thing. If I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this was what happened, right? So this is from Game Run. Elden Ring has six endings, and getting most of them depends on completion of certain quests. One of the most popular endings is the one called the Age of Stars, which is so popular, is, which what makes it so popular is that it connects to a fan favorite character in the game, Rani. To get this ending, you must defeat Renala, complete Rani's quest line, give her the Dark Moon Ring, and then summon her after defeating the game's final boss. The Elden Ring endings are short and leave a lot as unsaid as to the fate of the lands between. Some fans are particularly confused about the Age of Stars ending and what it really means to the tarnished Rani and the Greater Whale. To understand the ending, fans must also understand Rani's backstory and intentions, right? Okay, so Rani's intentions, the most important aspect of the intentions players, okay, should know is that she does not want the status quo to return. She's an enemy of the Greater Whale. She's the daughter of Radigan and Renala and appears to be very close to her mother. Okay. So, basically, it's true. It's, it, it, like, it demanded Radagon to return to Marika and it left her mother grief-stricken. So, we've spoken about this with Renala before, haven't we? You know, um, and the whole situation that went on there. I am just going to get my phone out so that I can keep up with what you guys are saying in the chat because my screens are everywhere, all right? But yeah, so I'm kind of just trying to understand a little bit more about the ending. So, um, I was right in thinking that the whole thing with Rani and the reason she hates the Greater Whale is to do with Radigan and what happened to her mother, right? Because Rinala is stuck in that chamber forever broken by the Great Rune and what happened with Radigan. Let alone everything that's gone on with her kids. Like, it's a lot, okay? So, yeah, left, left Renala completely out of her head. So she, she played a huge role in the death of the demigod Godwin. His death was necessary for the ritual in which Rani killed her own imperial body to have her soul bound to a doll. Because what we see is a doll. It's not even a corporeal body. It's a doll with a spirit inside of it. The reason she... La, 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 she killed herself so she could make sure she could not be controlled by the greater will as an Empyrean. Because we've spoken about this a few times, about how their body is bound to the greater will. Um, as a doll, she could maintain her free will. Okay. So, basically, rather than destroying all ties with the outer god, she wanted to replace the greater will with a different outer god. One called the Dark Moon. Like the Greater Will, the Dark Moon has made contact with people. And like the Greater Will, though, the Dark Moon does not enforce its will upon others. Okay, so the Dark Moon, unlike the Greater Will, doesn't seek control. Right? Okay, in some way. I mean, it maybe seeks control, but like we say, it's not using people as pawns. Okay, okay. It, gov it lets you govern your own free will, I'm guessing as why Rani would do it. So this is when we married Rani, right? So what it entails, blah, 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 blah. let's just have a little double look here. So yeah, we're gonna keep it casual today. I just wanted to preface with this so I can understand a bit more and hopefully you can kind of twig a bit more about what's happened because there are many endings and there are many meanings behind it. So, okay. And have the certainties of sight and motion. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so the thing is with Rani's ending, and I'm noticing this is quite common when you look into it, there's a lot that's actually lost in translation. There's a lot that is lost in translation. And um, we know that nuances in the original language compared to English is quite difficult sometimes. So, she and her order will not be physically present for others to see, 
feel and touch because it's proven by the golden order that creates a lot of problems yes we spoke about humanity and the reason the world was broken was down to the fickleness of the gods who were no better than men so you know that's one thing it does make sense so she wanted to rule a way where she couldn't be um affected by the goings on in the lands between which does make sense i mean you I, I guess you could be maybe a bit of a better ruler if you are not i don't know it's hard isn't it it's really hard to think about because if you are involved in something yes a hundred percent you get a better insight but also when you are directly and personally involved your emotions come into play right we spoke we spoke about this with um the whole marica situation right so it's interesting to really like consider that you can see yourself all here all right i shouldn't have that up on the screen <laughs> but that's just me being silly so game is confused over rani's words and that is not necessarily something that she said in our ending i don't think when we had it forgive me if i'm wrong but i don't think she said those exact words okay she did say another line that worried pet players is let us go on our path of fear doubt and loneliness into the darkness they all have pretty negative connotations but ronnie's really saying is that without the greater will pulling the strings of everyone's fate people will likely be more lonely fearful and full of doubt to ronnie though all of this is worth it for the freedom allowed under her order one important line is she calls her rule a thousand year voyage this means the age of stars does plan to end in 1000 years this is also very much unlike the greater will which planned to rule for all eternity so her 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 plight isn't necessarily to always be ruling you know her plight seems to be uh in her eyes i'm guessing more about freedom and more about um enacting her own will and enacting and letting people do so for themselves than being bound to an outer force that dictates yay or nay, good or bad. So, you know, it's definitely one thing to think about. Okay, so they're taken by Rani as a consort. This means the Tarnish has not become the Elden Lord like in so many endings. So he didn't become Elden Lord, right? Okay. Under Rani's rule, there is no Elden Lord. The Tarnish and Rani rule together, much like Radagon did with Marika, but without being the same person. Right, okay. So, in effect, we have become... Let me just get rid of that. So, in effect, we've become almost like uh, a vestige of Rani, you know? A, uh, a a symbol and an extension of who Rani was. And I, I hope you can follow along with me in some kind of sense, all right? But it is, it is a lot. And I hope that that's kind of explained to you about Rani's whole ideology going through she was the main quest that we did all right being a mage and an astrologer it definitely made sense or okay sarani so really for me i mean get it queen get it queen all right get it queen because everything here is messed up everything here is messed up and i don't really blame her as such for wanting to rid herself of it in a way um it seems like her rule and her reign is all about being on the fringes and being able to live your life in the way that you dictate instead of being controlled or governed by a higher power. Which, you know, stick it to her. Fair, fair fucking play, Rani. But sadly, that does mean we aren't Elden Lord. We have become something very different, okay? We have become almost an outer god ourselves if i'm correct uh, an extension of one at least um so yeah it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot but now i'm done with me waffling we're gonna go and visit renala okay rani's ma who's still in that room we're gonna pop in and see how selen is doing as well um and we're going to restart this character. Now, I will be honest, I haven't been awfully, um, I haven't been awfully wild about going through absolutely everything and like learning a load of different builds to play with. I'm not doing all that. What I'm going to say is as well, if there's anyone here, right, I should try and complete my missing cookbook collection. Okay. Fabulous. Yep. Tilty. 100%. That is something we can do as well as part of this. But I would also beg the question, what kind of builds would any of you like to see? Obviously, let's have a little look at our character stat. 
I mean, this site of the burning air tree, it's just so bloody beautiful. How dare they? So, now, we are predominantly at this moment an intelligent build, which means that we work best with sorceries and magical based weapon arts. Okay. I lost the best incantation when I burnt the tree. Sounds about right. I've done a lot of things in this playthrough that have locked me out of so many things. So I'm aware of that, but it's all right. It's all right. We have a whole, we have, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. We're not doing anything like that. All right. I'm going to keep Elden Ring on bank as a game that we can come back to and try new things. And like I say, as the DLC comes, we're good to go. But so builds. Now, you don't have to illicitly be one thing. Like, I feel like my build here is definitely a mage, but I have got a couple of points in dexterity and a bit, a bit in strength, all right? However, we can distribute these points in any given way in these attributes, and it will give us a completely different playstyle to Mass Effect. So an example, we could now choose to become, which I am going to do because I keep talking about it, all right, a strength build. Now, you can do strength mixed with other things, but you can just concentrate on the bonk alone, like on your damage alone. So that's one thing we can do. As a part of that, if I'm correct, it does open up the, the opportunity to use more bows and more melee armaments that we wouldn't be able to wield as a mage it just wouldn't work so that would be like a strength and dexterity build per se you could also go full dexterity which will scale with certain weapons and certain uh, certain items that are dexterity based pretty much every one of these apart from possibly vigor mind and endurance per se you can kind of create a build surrounding each one of them. So an example, if we wanted to do more of an arcane build, we could work more with blood. We could work more with bleed, if I'm correct. It's to do with bleed, faith, and a few other things. But there are loads of possibilities, and we have just really done magic. And I know that once I start going into things that are a bit uh, more strength damage based, the game will change quite a bit. There's even mechanics that I haven't actually used throughout this first playthrough. So, yeah, definitely. We'll do some uh, cookbook collecting. There's also some spells and things that I don't think I've got. I talk about it all the time, but Rani's Dark Moon is a spell that we haven't got yet. And I want to have a moon spell. I like it. It's cool. I, don't, I know you're going to be like, Ugh, but I like it. Um, so... I think what we're going to do is have a little look at how many larval tiers we have because these are going to be crucial for us to be able to actually restart the character and there's only a finite amount throughout the game and they're not here. I don't have the Golden Order seal. I would like the Golden Order seal. <laughs> Say that. I don't have the Golden Order plus 10 seal but I know you find it somewhere. Right, okay. So we have nine larval tiers which means that we can rebirth nine times great okay these are a resource that you can only get again in a new game plus so you have to be very careful with them right so if i'm aware the golden order seal is actually here in lane dell somewhere um and if that is the case we may just run there straight away Go to the Grace right after the Dragon Knight in Altus Plateau. Right, okay. I couldn't tell you where that is right now. Bar of Bounty. Let's just go back to Altus Plateau then, because I remember where the Knight was. And then if there's a Grace round there, we'll have an explore. But yeah, I want you to think now, if you're out there in the chat, because I, am con I want to restat this character. I want to play with a few things, all right? There is a possibility I could end up back as a mage, but... If I'm correct, I think the consensus is that for the DLC, faith builds might be the way to go. Okay. So I'm considering maybe doing a strength, faith kind of moment for the DLC. Considering. But obviously that comes with a bit of uh, experimentation. Right. Okay. What we got here? 
I need a staff. I need a staff with me on just for this second. We're gonna head over and get this golden order seal because I haven't I haven't got it and I could do something else. Okay, outer wall site site of grace. Just have a little look. I'm so awful at remembering all of these specific locations. That's just not me. Outer wall phantom tree. Is there another outer wall or is that it? It's gotta be that one. So yeah. Um I'm considering maybe doing a strength faith build to the DLC. But I know with me, at this point, it's gonna take me a bit of kind of learning that style of play before going there because I haven't done that before. Which is another thought with me um giving Liza P a go, because it's not quite as magic based, alright? And um it's in the minor earth tree church up the hill. Okay. So there's Dominula. One of y'all saying up the stairs. Right, I don't think I actually did this fight successfully because I'm pretty sure I know what comes down here. And I don't like it. <laughs> right, let's give our intelligence build a bit of a last hurrah all right for now at least okay because this is the thing i'm gonna have to work on upgrading weapons and everything if i redo and restart the character but if i can get a play style i like for now i'm into it and we're going to test that out by going back to limgrave and just bopping the absolute hell out of stuff so let me get this ready let me just make sure i've kind of got a bit of a grasp of my setup okay so you say not the stairs, the hill to the right. Well, either way. So one of you is saying it's in a church. I'm guessing that's down here because I don't think I've been there. This place is literally on fire. It's beautiful, but this girl is on fire. Yeah, so what is this place? I don't think I've done this. Because if you look at my map, yeah. Seems to be some kind of shenanigan going on. Okay, who's too shit? Let's just warm up, shall we? That's what we call a bonk. We call that the bonk in the biz. There are literally so many styles of build. You could say that a hundred times and still be right. I haven't even been here. This is the thing. We completed a whole playthrough and I ain't even been here. Right, okay, so this does not look too savoury. Let's just make sure I've got my wits about me, because I know what these churches can be like. The Missionary's Cookbook, level four. I'll take that. Is there anyone here? Okay. This is gorgeous, this little tree. Now, am I about to get jumped? Oh, the centipedes. Golden centipede. And then I'm guessing the golden order seal. Amazing. So let me just give that a go instead of the finger seal. So my golden order seal literally only has... Is that going to make me any better? Not necessarily. I'd need to upgrade it. So I'll keep it as I am now. All right. But... We'll give that an upgrade for sure because I think that's a pretty good seal. It should give us some more damage because it scales with intelligence as well. So I might scale with strength for some reason. I bet it's good for a faith build, I'm guessing, or it's decent at least. Let's just rest here. So yeah, an example, exhibit A, something I haven't done yet. <laughs> and there is a lot more to do. So if you have any suggestions, please pop off, pop in, pop out to the shop in the chat and come back. Great runes. We're doing alright on great, rune, great runes. So Radar, and to be honest, I hardly use the, the ability of it. I hardly do. It looks like it's becoming morning here. Let me just double check around this place because if I haven't been here before, then um, that's not it. What we got? What we got? Ruin, 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 ruin. Dude, why are there loads of pots here? My poor jar boys. Oh, really? 
Come on, Winger Bastel. Come on, girl. Right at the jack seat. Good night, darling. Right. So, strength sailing is to give the seal some physical damage to be counted as a weapon in the files. Ah, okay. It's a technical thing and the only beasts it seal actually scale with strength. Okay. Awesome. That makes sense, I'm guessing. Right. Is there anything off the edge here? I've just got to check, you know. I've just got to check. I've learned this now. Alright, you've got to check everything. So, is there anything down here? Have I been there? What's that rock? I've been to the sealed tunnel, but I don't know if I've been beyond it. Let me just make sure... Because I don't think I've done much down here. Let me just make sure there's nothing really of interest down. Down and about this way. A smouldering butterfly. Well, I will be on it. That was not so gorgeous. Oh, we got a golden tarnished sunflower. Right, 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 right. Let's play with some stuff then. Let's play with some stuff, all right. I'm going to do it. So, take me to Leonia and let us try some new stuff. Right, let's go and see Salon. And let's go and see... Is it Schoolhouse Classroom or the Debate Parlour? I think it's Schoolhouse Classroom, isn't it? Yeah? No, here. The Grand Library! Yeah, so this game has got so much replayability, and I'm not I'm not going to promise to you that I'm not going to get to this DLC and decide I am just a mage, and I can't change that. I can't promise you, but I feel like I at least owe it to myself and you lot to come on here and try some new stuff. Okay. Renala. Oh, bless her heart. Where's Selen? Eeyah, sis. You got turned into a lump of faces. Um, my... Hey, hon. I, uh, what you got? She's got the Scholar's Shield. Okay. I don't need to really get too much of that. Yeah. That's it. I really do need to fully search everything. Like, I'm not sure if there's much really left to do in here. Is that a whole bit we haven't been to in... Rhylocaria? I'm not sure. There might even be some more stuff in the lakes we haven't quite explored. But, I'm going to do this. I'm here. I'm going to do this. We're going to play with some stuff, right? Watch me completely ruin my whole day. This is going to ruin my whole day. Right, what are we going for? Art thou now assured of thy want to be born anew? Before I do this, before I do this, right, I'm going to take a little photo of my stats because I know myself, right? I know myself and I will forget. I literally will forget. And if I want to come back to this, I will be fuming. So that's all good, right? I've got my photo. Now, I've never tried this, so I'm excited. I'm like, it's a new thing. Art thou now assured of thy want? To be born anew. She's my stepmom. She's my stepmom. Okay, so 40 strength, 48 dex, 70 intelligence, 50 faith, 24 arcane are the maximum requirements you need those for using everything. Right, okay. Pick the weapons you want to switch and then change your shafts. Stat my shafts. <laughs> Alright, okay. So some of you that are telling me to get some weapons out and think about that first. That might be a good thing. Like I said, I've never done anything like this before. So it will take me a hot second. Let me just head back to Limgrave. Because I think if I'm going to test stuff out, at least I know this is an early, grave, early, early game area. And we can kind of get away with not being so overpowered in any way. Let's head back to the first step where it all began. Alright. So some crystal tears can increase your requirements by 10. Okay. 
Right. So I'm guessing that it makes you just generally able to wield other things, possibly. I don't even know, everybody. I don't even know. I've been popping off today. I've been waffling. So we're going to try something, right? So 30 strength, 38 dex, 60 intelligence, and faith, 24, and arcane are the lowest requirements, right? Right, okay. Here we are. This place looks so different now we set everything on fire. It really does. This is where we first met Vare and he called me Maidenless. Who's Maidenless now, Vare? Smashed your wig off, sis. Okay, what have we got? This be the thing, what have we got? We got so much. Now, what are we gonna do then? I think what I'm gonna do, for the sake of like the versatility of the game, I'm gonna do a pure strength build for a hot second. Because I keep talking about being a strength build. And at least in my mind, I can be a strength build, all right? So let's, let's be a strength build. Why not? And what I'm going to do is have a little look at what scales with strength here. And act accordingly. A lot of these I won't be able to wield successfully anyway until I have restarted the character. So if I was to be a strength build, I'm not 100% sure what I would do. But I'm thinking if I'm going to do that, we'll do some kind of bonk. Like very axes or yeah these are strength scaling mostly axes okay rusted anchor i did sell some stuff and i know loads of you are like you shouldn't have sold that you shouldn't have sold that but you know what i am a fool and i know myself so i'm just trying to check things out we got the hammer the war pick the morning star so these are all strengths and dexterity i'm guessing some have specific things like intelligence. Okay, that's Gideon Scepter. What a fool. Um, family heads. Mm. Oh, okay. The Rotten Battle Hammer. Jeez, that sounds like a hefty piece of meat. And the Prelate's Inferno Crozier looks like a bit of a beast too. Maybe. The Falling Star Beast Jaw. What has got the most? Base damage. If I'm going to be doing all this, what has got the most base damage? I, and you are right. I think most things are like between 30 and 50 strength to be able to wield. So these would be... Let me just, let me just do a bit of this, right? And... The Crozier has a fun special. Hmm... I literally just had the Crozier. So this has got a good special on it. Let's just completely... Yeah. I'm just going to completely change everything. We'll chuck one of them on. We will do a dual wield like cleaver setup. Because I can. That's not... Yeah, that's strength, isn't it? Yeah. Just because I can. I'm just going to see what these work like. And what I can do with these weapons. So let's take my staff off. And I'm going to now uh, maybe consider a shield. I've got some decent shields. These, I think, the brass shield, look, it's got 100% physical damage negation straight off. So quite a lot of them have, though. The silver mirror shield or the carrion knight's shield. Okay, so I can put an ash of war on that. Let's just have a little look at some of these. So... Attack power as well is something to be considered. Golden Great Shield. I've got quite a few Great Shields. Watch me literally not be able to move at all. The Fingerprint Stone Shield. I mean, it's got a high damage, isn't it? Dragon Claw. The One-Eyed Shield. Right, okay. Strike, Flame Spit. Let's just try it. Great to get Physical and Guard Boost. Are the main stash. Right, okay. So guard boost being 67. Uh, maybe we'd be better off with the finger shield. Yeah, we'll take the fingerprint stone shield. All of these, some of these I could put Ash the War on. So I can make them quite a different weapon in general. So now, my shield would be on my offhand, correct? Yes. Now maybe let's consider another bonk. 
Give me good bonk. <laughs> and that could mean a few things, but give me the bonk. I'm trying to find something that really scales with strength. Because if I'm correct, isn't S or C scaling the best for strength? The Rotten Battle Hammer. I, I kind of got drew to that, drawn to that for a second, didn't I? So I put that one in. Let's also change this to something different. Uh, the Blasphemous Blade is something that would be decent for a strength build, I'm guessing, as well. Strength, Dex, and Faith. You know, that wouldn't be that bad, I'm guessing, actually. Okay, the Sword of Milos. I was told, as well, to trade in my Elden Remembrance. Okay, if they're not upgraded, they won't reach the best scaling, right? Okay, I literally can't even walk. Bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Beat it up. Okay. Big bonk. I'm so overloaded, I can't even... Ah! <laughs> I've never done that. that. Look, this is me trying to roll. <laughs> what in the feeble ass mage is that all about? Right, let's just at least try and get a feel for it. Right, okay, I'm, I'm actually not too mad with the bonk. She's got a good swing on it. Now, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, dang. Dang. Look at this damn thing. I must say, with the red hood, I am featuring it. It's got good bonk. Right? I'm not going to be able to fight anything because I literally can't even walk. You got good bonk? Okay. So that's what you do. Shield bash would be whatever's another. So I've got prelate charge. Oh, I kind of live for that. Oh, I can run fast with that. Watch out, everybody. I'm coming. Yes! This is what we call bonk. I have never... Everybody! We'll have wool for a week. We'll be having sheepskin for tea. Out the way. Out the way. I'm a strength build. I am literally a strength build. Come back! I'm a strength build. How dare you? Why don't you run from the strength? Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I enjoyed that. <laughs> I better learn to inventory swap weapon, because you can't have more than two weapons. All right. You tried that on Melania, and it was hilarious. I bet she did not appreciate that. I lived. Like, I can't walk at all, but I hit that L2 button, honey. You can't tell me nothing. I am a strength build. Who's next? Who wants some? <laughs> I can't roll or defend myself, but who wants some? Right, okay. I'm, I'm getting far too excited. <laughs> tell me um, you're an intelligence build. You got given a big hammer without telling me. <laughs> you're an intelligence build. Who got that big hammer? Wild Strikes. Okay, so we do do the dual wield. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I'm not angry at that. Not angry at that. It's pretty quick, to be fair. Okay, so we know like a double clear cleaver setup is pretty the boss. It's not that you can't, but even with 40 stamina, you get a fat roll with three or more heavy weapons. Yeah, I'm guessing it's a very different um, playstyle. And that's why I'm doing this, you know. Braggot's Raw. <laughs> Feeble! Okay. Okay, so a lot of the bonks are quite the same. What else have we got here? Let me take this out. Okay, so we know we've tried all of these. Let's take all of these out now. Um, I'm into having a shield. I don't know why I'm holding on to this finger seal right now. I really don't. Let's try a different weapon. I think the idea of having a shield and being a strengthy is probably a good move. How much does it weigh, though? I need something that's light, that's got good damage negation and guard boost. Because I have a feeling that I'm a struggle otherwise. I've also not got some weapons that I could use. So we've got some, some other great swords as well. Shriek of Milos. 
Yeah, what's that? Aokad's Dancing Blade? Let's give it a go. Okay, that one we've already done. Ordovis' Great Sword. Ordovis' Vortex. Who is she? Who is she? Try it. Okay, well, I just put that one on. Let's try this first, then. See what she's about. Okay. Okay. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom, bang. It's not... Yeah, it's a lot, right? I've got to say, I quite like the big hammer. I do. <laughs> I really like that big hammer. The prelates one. Scorpion Singer. Strength and Dex. I'm looking at prim primarily. Give me strength, everybody. Yeah, it doesn't work if I don't have the requirements. A hundred percent. But I have got some more weapons since that point. Speaking of which, I'm going to go and claim something from a remembrance. And then I think we will restart the character, all right? We'll do that. So I was talking about possibly doing a bit more of a strength slash faith kind of moment for the DLC. So I think I will maybe test that out. I have no idea what that's going to look like for me per se. But maybe let's try it out. Because I'd rather restart now and build up between now and the DLC what I need than um, be doing it last minute and not have time. And I want to try a different play style. You know, it's such a versatile game. I really want to get into that as much as tarnishedly possible, if you get me. And yeah. <sighs> Bless her soul. Um, but I'm considering, right, we've got here, there's Marika's Hammer. And there's another sword as well. Great sword. Sacred relic. Strength, dex, faith. Okay. Wave of gold. Gold breaker. The Marika's hammer. Well, I want them. I kind of want these weapons. Like, this is a hard fight. You're like, the sword. You need that. I'm like, I think I do need that. If I want the hammer, I can get the hammer, all right? I don't know when it comes to Horalu, is this worth getting? Are either of these worth getting, really? I'm not sure. What's that got? It's got a pretty high high strength um, on it. And yeah, I was gonna say the axe is a strength weapon. Right, okay, so at max it is an S-scaling strength weapon. Thank you, Spinder. I'm considering it. Do you know what? I'm going to take it. I haven't done much when it comes to bringing powers of remembrance, and I do feel like being this late in the game, now is the time to consider those things and really have a look at what I can get and what I can do. If I'm going to do a strength build, I, I think I'm going to need that. So we'll have that. We haven't done much of using the remembrances like that, so let's do it. Now, I'm also going to need to be able to wear some stuff. So, I'm going to need to try on some armor. Um, let's just... Because, I will be honest, I've kind of grown attached to the way I look. And if I find something I like... I'm guessing a lot of this is more to do endurance than anything. And I have got a talisman which will help me out in that sense. However, I am going to have to switch out all of my weapon mess. I know. Okay. I'm a mess. I might for now keep the red hood and we will discuss armor as we move through. But either way, it's all good. I'm, I'm not too precious. All right. I am absolutely precious, but I'm not too precious about it. Genuinely, we're all good. There is a world out there that we can re-explore multiple times. So that we will be doing in the future. All right. Don't worry. Okay, it's brilliant for crowd control and room farming. I haven't decided illicitly on what I want, so I'm not going to go in and upgrade anything as of yet. But what we are going to do is head to Renala. I'm going strength, strength, dexterity, faith, I think is what we're probably going to head for. Now, if you're out there and you have any suggestions for like a stat build that would work with that, that would be great. But 
I think I'm just going to wing it. I've got quite a few larval tears, all right. So if I do absolutely mess it up, then um, I mess it up. <laughs> but if I don't mess it up, you know, hopefully we can get something good. Hopefully we can. Um, dexterity, if I've heard, there's not much point in literally having more than like 15 or 16 points in it, regardless of what you do, If I'm unless I'm correct. Because if I'm correct, a lot of dexterity weapons do scale with other things. It's a lot. <laughs> it's my first time playing a game like this with intricate mechanics like that, where you can stat originally. I'm used to skill trees. The heart thou nourish. Be not, yet. not alarmed. Nor a fear. I would but So what we're also gonna do is we're gonna have a facelift. And I think if I'm gonna become a strength build, I'm going to look abhorrent. I want to look like something that is hardly even human. I mean, we've done this whole Age of Stars nonsense, so it would make sense, no? Now, I've got my stats already taken a picture, all right? So it's true with every stat. So 18. Dexterity. Let's have a little look at some of this equipment that I've just got. So, the Sacred Relic Sword. Yeah, it is pretty good, isn't it? I mean, the Dark Moon is... See, look, the Dark Moon Greatsword we got on plus 10 is at 200. But if you look at the Sacred Relic base damage, it's already um, pretty serious. So, that requires a Dexterity of 24. A Faith of 22. And a Strength of 14. So... 50 or 60 only get into to 70 to the use the moon. Right, okay. So I'm not going to restart as a mage. I'm going to restart as a strength build. <laughs> I want to be a strength build. Let me be a strength build. So I'm looking at this and thinking, right, okay. Strength, dexterity, faith. I think that's going to be what we're going to head for into the DLC and moving forward with this restart. What's this? The Golden Order Greatsword. Yeah, Strength, Dex, Faith. A lot of these. Yeah, a lot of them are kind of interchangeable. Arcane as well. Do we want a bit of Arcane involved? Well, what kind of stuff was I looking at before as well? I was looking at... What are you looking at? Where's that Prelates thing? Because I liked that. That was my friend. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. That's a Strength and Dex scaling. I'm going to do Strength of 45... So I'm going to need my main stat as strength, right? That's going to be across the board. I'm going to need my main stat as strength. Dexterity then, I'm going to want 24. Okay, and then 24. Let me just write this down. Okay, I'm going to write this down on my phone. So I'm not just fannying around. I've got me notes up here. Now, so... La, 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 la. I'm going to probably need... I'm so, my thing is, I'm awful with numbers. I do not, I do not obtain numbers, so I have to write this down. So, <laughs> oh yeah, that's true with every stat. Okay, so twenty-four arcane or all. I don't know if the mass is going to add up, but I'm going to try my best to see what I can do with what we've got. So, twenty-four arcane. If I head back up to where is it? What a ball like? <laughs> Sacred Relic. Okay, this is giving me an idea of a random kind of, like, minimum. All right. So you'd say 40 strength, 48 dex, 50 faith, and 28 arcane. Right, okay. So, it's a lot. So what I'm probably going to do is get my minimums for what I need to use stuff that I've got. And then, um, faith 24. So let me put 24 to 5 faith. Faith. And then let's do... I'm going to use strength as my dump stat. <laughs> so obviously if I'm doing a strength build, I was just dumping points into intelligence. Um, so I'm going to do a dump stat on the faith. All right. So 24 is the arcane. 50 is faith awesome there we go and then i'm gonna want um dexterity 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 48 decks. All I can do is kind of aim in a similar direction to what I'm after. So I'm going to put decks... I'll put a decks minimum. 24. I can take quite a few points out of mind and maybe quite a few out of vigor as well. So that's all good. So I'm going to think... I'm going to cap Arcane and Faith at 24 minimum, possibly. And then... The rest I'll dump between Strength, Vigor, and take all the points out of mind and distribute them elsewhere. Pray for me, because I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm making it happen, alright? Let's get into this. Let's be reborn. Come on, Renala, give me what I want. Art thou now assured of thy want to I be am. born I am. Anew? I know I've come here like 15 times and taunted you with the idea, Renala, but let's do it. Rebirth. Yep. Now. Bear this sweeting into life anew. With the birth rebirth menu, you can spend level tiers to clear your levels and reassign them from square one. You must reassign all levels until you reach your present level. You cannot make any attributes lower than their initial level determined by your origin. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, so the origin I'm guessing it's referring to is your starting class, is it? Either way. Making it happen. I'm going to make it happen on this day. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so I'm guessing it's not going to let me come down below any of this because I'm an astrologer class, if I'm guessing. Right, okay. Thank you, Lone Wolf, for making sure I know that, because I really don't. We're going to make this happen. This is my first time ever restarting a character. We're going pretty much the opposite side of the scale. Done, mage. Let's do a strength, arcane, strength, faith, and dex build. All right? So. <coughs> Let's just do it. So I'm going to make sure that my arcane... These are the smaller stats, Okay. Okay, we're going to put a minimum of 24 in Dexterity and Faith, just as a minimum stat for now. Um, I'm not paying attention to all this red, because I'm going to completely change all this. The strength is, I'm going to save that for one of my last one. Okay. Right, okay, so the veteran pick um, the discriminated, the wretches, if I'm correct, because it has 10 in all stats. So... Now, endurance, we're going to need some endurance, but I would probably, I would be more keen with my knowledge of my playstyle and whatever to rely on, I don't know, getting out of the way a bit more than just tanking through shots. Obviously, I'm going to be able to do that because of the kind of build we're doing. We're going to be able to tank through things a little bit better. But let's head down to Faith. So Faith, I was told, I want to kind of buff her up, right? Now, I'm just going to whap that for now at about 45, and we're going to head on to other stats. Yeah, we'll head on to other stats. For now, we can always play with that after. Strength, I'm going to want 50, I'm guessing. Or 40. Let's go to 40 for now. And you're going to re I'm realising very quickly, and you're going to realise this is what these strength builds do. They're like, I have no health. I'm going to tank through everything. <laughs> And I'm going to live. Um, endurance. Uh, la, 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 la. I haven't even thought about that yet. But I know if I can get my decks up. Oh, I'm getting close, isn't I? Okay. Okay. Intelligence isn't my thing. You don't tank an Elden Ring. You just get destroyed slower. That sounds about right. So now, with 40, you can use all weapons, most with one hand and some with two. Awesome. So, Vigor. So we've got mostly a dex build, is it? I don't know if dexterity is... Um, 48 decks. Let's go to 45. 
you said 48 is the minimum stat, so let's do that. Uh, mind, it'll be alright as it is. I start off with a decent bit as an astrologer anyway. Now, I've got 10. Can you see? I've got 12 even more stat points to attribute. Right? I'm going to get my vigor up to 20. I'd say minimum. I'm now looking at endurance because we've been through this, this whole thing. Maybe add one more, at least bring it to a decent number. Intelligence I can't take any more off. Faith you would say put to 40, that we will do, so we've got some more points there. Vigor I'm guessing I could add more into. I mean, it's de we're definitely going to lose out on a major amount of health, okay? And that I am aware of. Mind, I'm not that worried about because I feel like my base amount of mind for a strength build ain't bad. So, that's fine. Vigor. Yeah, we'll do some farming and stuff when we come back on and play more of this anyway, so that's all good. Now... Faith 40. That leaves me with 144. Okay. I'm not good at the maths, so I'll just have to put amounts in and figure it out after. Immunity robustness. Okay, I'm going to add... Okay, so I'm up on a quip load. If I'm correct? Yeah, I'm up on a quip load. So, that'll take that back to 45... Dexterity, dexterity, dexterity. 48, I've got it at as a base minimum. Strength is the dump stat. So let's get this up. 30. And then dump all that into strength. Now, I am going to hold on a second. Right? Just think about this. Now, you're always saying putting it, put it all in health, but I know that strength is going to give me... Oh, okay. Maybe I want to up on damage. This is what I mean. It's a lot. It's a lot to consider. I'm like, ah! Maybe we'll take strength back down to 40. And then 18. Would you say endurance is probably better? I'm not sure if the vigor's enough or whether I should swap something out. Is dexterity really worth me having at 48? That's my concern because I'm like, well, I know a lot of damage to scale with dexterity. So being somewhere between strength, dex, and faith ain't bad. I don't think this is going to have a, neg a negative effect, really. I don't think this is going to be awful. Um, you say you check your weapons, and I'm like, Aah! I will. I will. I will. 40 strength. Okay, check my weapons and lower it to 30. Do you know what? I'm going to go... I'm making up my own. I'm going to go to 35... I'm going to go to 45. And then maybe we do like 43 strength, I'm guessing. With the weapons I have, 30 should be enough. Yeah, I guess that I can kind of add more as time goes on. But I wanted to be a strength build. <laughs> I want to be a strength build. Let me be a strength build. I'm nervous about becoming a strength build, everybody. So if you haven't already, remember to give me a thumbs up and drop me a little message and let me know you're there. Because, <laughs> jeez, you made the same mistake. Right, okay, Lone Wolf, you've got me. You've got me. So, I'm literally on bated breath. Because it feels so. Because I haven't grown to this, I'm going to have to experiment. Or is enough to reach the cap index. Do you know what? I think we might just try it. I don't think it's amazing, right? But it's there's a first time for everything. And at least I've been through this process once. If it doesn't come out perfect, and what? Let me just... I need to two-hand heavy weapons because they're slow AF. Okay. Endurance. Do you know what? We're going to do it. I'm going to press confirm. Boom. Let's get reborn, everybody. 
Oh, okay. Balled up. Let's just be reborn a second. Yes. Uh, where's my... I want to go fetal. I would like to be fetal. Thank you. Let us be fetal. Ay, ay, ay. Plop! Plop on the ground. Thank you, Renala, for my rebirth. I've got to lie down now for a minute. That was a lot being reborn, you know. It is a lot. Okay. Now, what rebirth? Ah, uh, and if the I'm here. Will be countless born oh, she had new dialogue. Forever. I skipped it. What did you say, honey? Ah, uh, that is it thy wish to... I just missed that dialogue. It's my fool! Anyway, um... Hold on. How do I... Body type, name, detailed appearance. Okay, save this to favourites. Okay, so this is going to be... Here. And now we are just going to... I'm going to destroy her face. ha! <laughs> <laughs> So basically, we um, we caught a serious case of anemia. We did, and you know what? At the end of the day, someone's got to do it. So we're going to make her facial structure a bit more wild. Let me just make sure. So facial balance, nose size. Um, I would like to just like remove the nose. Can I remove the nose? I would like to have no nose. Okay, we need to look like evil Chad. Evil Chadessa. Yes. Nose to forehead ratio. Um, just, what's that even doing? Okay, nose to forehead ratio. More nose than forehead? More forehead than nose. Yes. Already giving Chad. Face protrusion. I would like a convex face. No, actually, I want to be concave. I want to be flat. Just no features. You know, I want to look like a pair of eyes floating in a bowl of milk. That is what I'm after. Vertical face ratio, narrow or wide? Um, I think narrow. I would like to remove all of my features. We've become very angry. Facial features slant up. Oh, down. Sorry, I get very into this. This is like my bread and butter. Playing with the character creator. My PlayStation does not like me playing with the character creator, though. It seems to be lagging. When I'm changing the stats, it's like, lag. But it's fine. As long as you're all still with me. Okay. Horizontal face ratio. What are we doing? Narrow, wide. Okay, we've done all that. That's kind of bored me now. Let me just go to the eyes. Eye position. Let me just, actually... For a strength build, let's put the eyes so wide on the head that you can't even see them. I need to just be forehead now. I've been through a transformation. I've literally gone with Rani to the dark moon. And we got wild. We got so wild that I, like, literally lost my brain. So, I've become a Chad. There we go. This is what we want. We want something that barely resembles a face. I want to literally look like I am a mess. Okay, eye size. <gasps> oh, can I make them disappear? I would like no eyes. I'm into that. Hi, welcome to a nightmare. All right. Okay, eye size. Yes, small all the way. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is literally what I want. I want someone with like... No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, thank you. Now, okay, so eyes are done. Nose ridge. Nose ridge depth. Um, Yeah, let's pull that right back. All right. Because I will say that's a bit too protruding. There we go. This is exactly what we're here for. Yes, me. Yes, me. I want to look like I have become one with the interdimensional space bonk. That is my new build name. It's called interdimensional space bonk. Nose ridge length. Um, I did ask for the Latoya. I did actually ask for the Latoya. And this is what I got. Um, nose up all the way or down. Okay, what's it look like if we bring it down? Oh, yeah, we'll give it that. Bring it down a bit. Hey, Neil, welcome back. I'm just creating um, a heinous looking critter. We've just been reborn as a strength build. And as you know, I have been harping on about being a strength build throughout this whole playthrough, even though I'm a mage. All right. 
And I'm having fun today. We're having a bit of a casual one. All right. A face only a creator could love. Thank you, Andrew. And this is the thing. I think this indie is beautiful, right? Absolutely beautiful in their own way. Look at that. Look at that. You know what? I think I remember her. I think I remember her. Oh no, that was it. I asked for the Latoya, but actually I got Fantasia Royale Gaga. And I'm not mad because it looks fierce. It looks so good. No slant. Up. Come on. Now, what's really going to make it all great is when you realise that I'm going to get rid of my lips. Yeah. No, I don't want to discard my jaders. Okay. Um, nostrils. Right, can we make them just, like, up? Can we make them really high and really, like, slants? Oh, yeah, she's, she's been reborn. And this is the thing, right? As we know, in the lands between the rebirth process, it can be a bit funny. Can be a bit funny. Look, I need to see right into my brain. Yes. Um, wide nose. Oh, maybe no. We need to. We need to make it small. Oh, I actually love this. I'm so into this right now. I should not. I need to sort the brow bone out though. Um, I look absolutely evil, and it makes me so happy. Uh, cheeks. Now filler. Do we have filler? I mean, most of these are pretty up. Let's just go even further, even further. If we've got a brow bone like that, we need some cheeks to match it out. I literally look like Jigsaw, and I'm so happy about it. Yes, I am. Thick cheeks? I mean, I mean, this is me we're talking about. That's what they call me on Grinder. <laughs> right, mouth expression. Sad, happy. How about just no lips? Can we do no lips? Just none. Just. Can we do that? I know y'all are going to be like, you're just going to put a helmet on. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to show people my beauty. There may be other garments I will wear. Oh, wow. What an absolutely deranged looking creature. I love it. I love it. Lip size, small. Just get rid of them. Just get rid of them. I can use this button and make everything quicker. Yes, okay, thank you. That would make my whole life better. Um... Okay, we're getting rid of him. Lip thickness. All the way down. All the way down. Oh, Reba's quaking. Reba called and she wants her face back. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love her. <laughs> you can't tell me this isn't glamour. Why am I so excited about this? It's absolutely disgusting. Hi, welcome to my mental instability. I need to make this so happy. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, sis. How are you doing, Curly? How was that, um... You know, how was that rebirth? We can make them purse. Purse first, hunty. Purse first, purse first. <laughs> this is minus top lip. This is what happens when you, <laughs> you have so little top lip. It just becomes not a top lip anymore. Oh, there's mouth as well. <laughs> I'm. This is what I want. I want no mouth. I want no mouth. Occlusion? No. Yep. Mouth position down up. <laughs> mouth width narrow. Yes? Mouth chin distance. Oh, damn. <laughs> yes. Wow, that looks like an orifice. <laughs> Do I have to censor this? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I've literally... I've literally... <laughs> literally lost my mind. Yeah, this is... So, basically, this character, Reba McIntyre, was her plastic surgery inspiration. It was a little bit of Reba, a little bit of Latoya, a little bit of... Ja just all of the icons. Chin tip position. Maybe we just have a really, really intrusive chin. Maybe that's who we are. I can get behind that. I support you, you know? There's beauty in everything. Chin width. No, I don't want a chin either. I don't want anything. No, I do. I want a bit of a chin. Chin height. Can we make it low? 
Dip it low, chin it up slow, chin it all around, chin it down. Okay. <laughs> this is just getting absolutely wild. The funny thing is, I didn't even have an extra shot of coffee today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Ooh, girly, girly, was that sour lemon, was that lemon sour, girly? Oh, poor girl. Bless her. Shame you can't add stitching. Genuinely. Oh, oh, it's giving hag. And I love it. Absolutely love it. Lower jaw, low. I really don't want. Yeah, okay. We are all chin, right? We're all chin on this day, and I love that. I swear I know this woman. <laughs> Tell me! Right now, we do not know this woman. Okay, brow ridge height, inner brow ridge, low height. No, brow ridge height. No, I want the um, forehead glabella, forehead protrusion, right back. That's it, that's it. Okay, so forehead depth, slight. Oh, a deep forehead. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. I love the fact I changed the forehead slightly. I'm like, no, that's too much. Nose bridge height. Mm. I did mess with a lot of this, to be honest. It will make that bigger. Bridge protrusion. I'm trying to make the forehead not look quite so absolutely wild. There we go. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, bring that back. Nose bridge width. Ooh! I'm trying to imagine what I would look like if I went through some heinous albinoric process and was sent out into space and came back. And now I'm a strength build. Brow ridge. Low, high. What is she even doing? Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. It's a bit softer. Oh, it's getting kind of cute in a really weird way now. <laughs> this is my idea of cute, by the way. Okay, the lips. I'm still not happy with the lips. Mouth expression. I'm really happy with the amount of um, lip we have, though. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah, this is like Nana's got her dentures out. <laughs> Love it. Lip size, protrusion, thickness. So when it's saying thickness, it is it. <laughs> she works she did a, she did a six month course at aesthetic school and now she's out there she's out in these streets hyaluronic acid everybody like it's a lot <laughs> but that's what we come for that's literally what we come for okay um i'm not about that i need to get rid of that because that made me feel uncomfortable i don't know why i want no mouth but i don't know if that's in that that'll do i don't know if that's in the cards for me see She does look a bit cute when she's smiling in a really weird way. It's kind of absolutely deranged, and I love it. Occlusion, mouth position, blah, blah, blah. width. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mouth slam. Okay. Does anyone know this feeling? This is, um, I took too many selfies in 2004 with this face. Remember people used to do like... <gasps> ah, somebody give her a codeine, please. Okay. Math position down and up. I was, I'm really enjoying the, the wideness. I, there's something about this face that I'm finding so charming. I don't know what it is. I really don't. Maybe, let me try. I've got an idea. This is where we're going to try with cosmetics. No, tattoos and eye patches. Right, let's just... Okay, so the tattoos, you can move them around the face in some quite wild ways. So what if I was to take the scar that was on my eye, because we're different now, what if I took this and then tweak it? Can we like mess up the mouth with it? Do 
I don't know. I don't know. I do kind of prefer it on the eye, you know. Maybe put it on the other eye. Like I said, I'm trying to get the impression that like I was reborn, but it, it you know, it kind of went a bit weird. That's it. You've dated her before. Do you know what? I think I did. And do you know what the worst part is? I think I actually called her back. <laughs> and what? No shaming here, honey. Eye patch. You patch. The old patch. Do we need an eye patch? No, I'm too beautiful. I couldn't do any of that. Maybe our eyes are covered now. No, I'm not doing that. Tattoo mark. Can we have any better ones, please? I would like more. Expansion. It seems really, um, okay, so maybe I can do that. Position. Um, um. Hey, Dream Master. Oh, I quite like that, you know. Yes, it's giving, like, weird teeth. Okay, let me see. There's got to be a way I can, like, tweak this and make it darker, right? Oh, I could even go flesh with it. Make it look really strange. Yeah, if we want, like... No, I like the black more. I do. Black's just fashionable. It's just stylish and good, you know. Okay, now if I go back to cosmetics and change the lipstick, I can make it really vibrant, but then make it black. Okay, now I can change the tattoo again. I wanted to get rid of my mouth, didn't I? I wanted to not have a mouth, and I think I'm actually managing to do it, and I'm kind of slightly scared of myself. Okay, so now, if I do that, that means I've got the lipstick on dark, and I can come back to the mouth. I could genuinely, I could spend whole streams playing on this character creator with you lot. A lot of you are probably already so over it, and you're like, what is she doing? <laughs> Let me live! I want to live! Okay, so maybe if I make this smaller. I've got an idea. We're going to go back to the mouth tweaking because I'm going to make this mouth absolutely tiny now. Am I? Oh, she's gorgeous! Right, anyway, let me just have a moment. Lips. Uh, lip size, la, 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 mouth expression. No, not that one. We're going to go back down to mouth here. Okay, so mouth protrusion. Bring it right in. And then, mouth slant. Make it look Fuck it. Mouth position. Down. Mouth width all the way back. I love it! Absolutely love it! Um, concave. Yes. Could I maybe move the mouth like all the way up under the nose? I think it's stunning too. Thank you so much. I should say she, they, them. They are stunning. Lips, mouth, it's really fullness. No, it's all down. There's no lips. Absolutely no lips. All right. We need to give Reba McIntyre the run of her life. Purse. There we go. No. Awesome. So this is kind of getting more what I'm after. I want something that's quite like unnerving to look at. Let me know in the chat right now if this is starting to make you a bit uncomfortable because it's starting to make me uncomfortable. I think I'm going to wake up and she's going to be there at the end of my bed. Okay, let's just consider what we could do with our mouth. Because there's a lot. Oh, it's the rune of yeet. Now, what we got? What we got? Okay... What if I maybe took this, and then, what if I... Mm. You think she looks cuddly, which is unsettling. Love that. Oh, okay, I'm not mad at that. Hold on. Let me just make it a bit smaller. 
That is a fierce Elden mustache. This is giving gender bending on a different planet, and I'm so here for it. Uh, rotate left. Or rotate right. Oh, I quite like that. I don't know why. It's like some deranged mustache, and it makes me very happy. So... Yeah, let's, let's, um... I don't think flipping it's gonna help. Maybe if I come down a little bit more. Wrong one. Mm, let's change the tattoo. Just give it actual mustaches. It! How dare you! <laughs> this is a woman! Oh. Oh, I quite like that. Hold on. Oh, Joe, I'll take that. I can always change my makeup at another time, but. Boop, boop, boop. She looks like she comes from a different planet, and it's kind of what I'm after, but. I don't know. Let's try one more. Today, yeah, today I'm playing the role of Rift and Face Doctor from Skyrim. And tonight, Matthew, I am playing the role of Rift and Face Doctor. Hmm. Let's try that, and then let me tweak that and angle. Let's try something like that, and then expand the hell out of it. Oh, yes! That is what I was looking for. I was looking for something that looked like, I don't know, like almost Frankenstein in a way, but like not quite well. Okay, the eyes, I think they've got too much makeup on them and it's giving an effect that I wasn't necessarily after. Now, it, I hope this gives you an insight into the process of like the amount of time that I will spend in a character creator. Maybe I should just do a whole season a whole series of going on different um, things. Hold on. And just doing the character creator, because I would so love that. Eyeliner colour, eyeliner off. That's it. Okay, so eyeshadow off. The lipstick on black, yep, 100%. Cheek colour. I think we'll still keep a bit of pink quite like that. Maybe even we'll swap that actually out for like a purple. Yes, we'll go for like a purple kind of blush. I like that. Very ethereal. Did I save my previous face? Yeah, it's saved. Don't worry. <laughs> it's saved. I made sure. Oh, I like this purple blush. I think it might be a bit much just there. Let me just take it down a little bit. There we go. And now, let's go back to the eyes again. Let me just perfect the eye shape. I actually do like this now. I wasn't sure where this was going. But I kind of like where we've got. I like the mouth. It's very unique. Uh, eye position. Down or up. Ooh, okay. Eye slant. Spacing. Is that too far? Is that too far? Yes. Yeah, let's pull them right out. That looks a bit better, to be honest. And then, why can't I just close the eyes? Where are the brows? Is there an actual eyebrow setting? Facial balance. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, nose to forehead ratio. Actually, I'd prefer that. Now that is a bit too far, I think. You can't close the eyes. I guess you need to be able to see them, right? Okay. Well, do you know what? I've changed my mind in that case when it comes to the eyes. Oh, actually, I'm into that. I mean, Rani is like some kind of broken doll, right? So I wanted to kind of give a little bit of that. Okay. So also what we're going to do now when it comes to the eyes is we're going to go back here and change the color of the eyes. So this one, 
is going to be completely opaque. Actually, they can both be completely opaque. Yeah, that's fine. Let me out. Let me out. Yeah, so if they're both opaque. Okay, I feel like a strength build version of myself after being reburned. Rani was involved, as you can see. Yes, it's all good. So, dark circles. Do we have dark circles? No. My dark circles are literally gleaming white. Because then I might be able to make myself have concealer. Oh, look at that! I just gave myself concealer! Love that. Plain or lustrous? Oh. I'm a doll, so I have no pores. Just smooth. Yes. Thank you. Love that. Okay, so I'm basically in the canon of what happened. This is what happened to me after. So let me save this to me, favourites. Right, and let's look at the before. Yep. So let's look at the before. Before. Yep. Before we have this person. And then after Rani does away with me and does with me what she needs to. And sends me back to the land between as a strength build. I end up looking like her. Tell me it's not good. Tell me it's not good. However, you're going to hate me. The hair. No! Not that one. <laughs> yep. Awesome. So now... Hair. I need to change the hair. You know me. It's not going to be okay unless the hair is changed. So, I need to think like a warrior. What would a warrior's hair be? Maybe I've got a pixie cut. I've been reborn, so my hair is short, right? It's not the long luster it was. Oh, okay. That's kind of a fierce look, though. Right? What else have we got? Shorter styles. Wow, I feel utterly... I feel like Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres after a really long night. And that's not a good thing. Okay, that's giving um, Twink at School 2004. One. Are you saying full bold? Mm, you know what? It's a good thought. It is a good thought. The side profile is everything. Absolutely everything. It's giving Jigsaw, right? Tell me this ain't giving Jigsaw and you are lying in my face. Don't play in my face like that. Maybe we have a little hat. I don't know. This is kind of speaking to me, though. In a weird way. I like the hair over the face. I've kind of spent ages doing the face, but... <laughs> Whose auntie is this? Tell me in the chat below. Okay, what we got? Oh, all right. Okay, so we've got some braids going on. A bit of a... F bit of like a mohawk situation. Oh, I did quite like that, though. There's something about this haircut that's giving it for me. Hi, I'm literally absolutely destroying my character. When I started my original game, I chose this hair. So for us being reborn, I'm choosing the hair. Do we deviate as a colour? Do we deviate as the colour? There are... Oh, I can have... Lustre. Hair colour. So this is all giving me... Highlights. Yes, okay, if it's giving me highlights in that case, we'll put a black highlight through the hair. Yeah, put a black highlight through the hair. White hairs. I see, I see. So let's put that at about there. Like a kind of steel grey white. Matalan, how do we get from scary to Matalan model? I know, right? It did go, it, it took a very sharp turn. Luster, yes. Look at that, it's all shiny now. Right, you know what? I'm going to stop playing with that. All right. And we are going to alter the body. Body hair, none. Don't need that. Chest, small, large. We are more of a chad now, okay? We are more of a chad. And we need to act accordingly. So even if my abdomen is tiny, my arms are huge. They are huge. I am tank. Okay. Legs large. Absolutely large. I'm I'm tank now. Look, I was reborn. And now I am absolutely Chadissa. Chadarella. Call me Chadarella. Muscular. Head. Absolutely tiny. 
roids. Don't do it. Chest. Yeah, why has that made my head bigger, though? It's giving Chad. Chadarella, all right. Why is it I make my head smaller and my breasts shrink? Ooh, okay. I wanted the head smaller to make everything look bigger in proportion, but it's like, no, you can't have your chest that big. And then I make the chest bigger and my head's tiny. Right, let's make that smaller in the way. They are linked, aren't they? How heinous. Okay. Now... I think that might be it. I mean, whatever Rani did to us out in the blooming dark moon... Oh, actually... I might just quickly have to change the skin colour. Is there a way? Yes. Yes, I want... Like, a Rani blue, but fairer. Maybe more of a teal. Like, a slightly off-white alien fantasy. That's what I would like. Okay, that skin tone... Mm. I mean, I'm, I don't want to go too green. All right, I'm going to go too green. Rani was like a blue color, correct? So, hey, Logan, welcome. Thank you for the comment. Yeah, so maybe if we're, we're one of, we're Rani's consort. So let's go for a really off-white, like almost a duck egg. Not quite what Rani was doing, all right? We need some uniqueness, but I think, oh, you fool. There we go, I need to choose that there. Awesome. Let's save this over that. Again. The... No. I would like to finish my cosmetics. Oh, I love it. Already love it. Already love it. Don't I just look divine? Be not alarmed. More a fear. I would birth thee as a sweeting... Well, geez, I've got to say, as of this point, we need to start fresh. We need to completely start fresh. And what we're going to do is take a little seat over here. And if you are here and you haven't already, drop me a little subscribe and remember to hit on that bell. I will be staying. However, I'm going to go on a very short and swift comfort break before we move on to the rest of today's stream get all the weapons set up and play with a little bit of this new build all right so grab yourself a beverage if you are new here press the subscribe button and you'll see a name on the screen <gasps> yes, you will. and i will be right back
Hi everybody. Welcome back. I hope you got a fresh beverage. Are you ready to carry on with today's stream? Yes, I hope you are. And a major thank you to all of you. We just hit 400 subscribers on the channel. And I know it's a small number, all right. But every one of you matters. Every one of you that's watching. So if you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button. Mash the reactions. And let's go. Because we're about to get into a whole new source, all right? Our character has been reborn. And now, we venture on. It's time for a bit of a fashion show, I think. And we're going to go and we're going to stay here for a minute, right, with Renala. She's our stepmom, right? And that's why we now look like this. So let's have a little gander at some armor, all right, because I am absolutely darkers. Absolutely darkers. Now, on the head, I do like to have something that keeps my face out. Let me just have a gander at some stuff and see what I think would go. I do really like Bly's armor. I do. Hold on. Let's try that on for a moment and let's try some greaves with it. I do like the cloak. It looks a bit funny without everything on the head though, the Blythe one, because he's usually got a big mask. So... Maybe not that one. Now there's all of these. These are what we call certified Chad armor. Yes. The fingerprint armor. That's to do with um, the heinous fingers. The raging wolf armor. Oh, okay. I like the cloak. I must say. Let's try something else. Let's try a few things. All right. The malformed dragon armor. Now a lot of these have a lot more damage negation. That is for sure. But obviously, you know with me, it's about the drip a lot of the time. And we're doing a faith strength build. So maybe something that kind of complements that in a way. The Royal Remains armor. Oh, it's kind of skeleton vibes. Okay. Not the Exile, the White Breed, Marionette. Mm. Yeah, I hope you got a nice beverage. I got me a cup of tea. Took me a moment, but I got there. So these are a bit lighter. Ooh, the Sanguine Noble Robe is pretty decent. And it's got a decent amount of magic negation. Which could be one for us to consider. But it's um, definitely more for like a mage build. I know I don't have a lot. Let's be real. I, don't, I know I don't have a lot. Um, black Knife Armor. I don't have the Black Knife Armor. So I can't, even if I wanted to wear the Black Knife Armor, I can't wear it. Because I don't have it. If I did, I would have put it on by now. <laughs> I think it would probably complement quite well, but no, I don't I don't have it. If I'm correct. No. Yeah, no black um thing. Okay, so Ordina Town. Nobody hears you coming in the black knife armor, right? Okay. So that would be in Ordina. Well maybe we can go and check out Ordina. Um, once we've figured out what to wear, because clearly I'm I'm having a bit of a uh, having a bit of a crisis. Okay, it's easy to pick up. Awesome. Okay, what what could we go for? What's this look like? What's the fingerprint armor? Oh, okay. That ain't bad, you know. I like the neck hood. Okay. Banished knight scaled. Beast champion. Okay, it's giving Chad. It's giving Chad. Uh, da, 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 da. Tree sentinel armor. Oh, wow. Talk about buff. Okay. There's just a lot of choice. White reed armor. Oh, okay. It's giving samurai vibes. Love that. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, I don't want something that is too crazy. Hoslow's armor. Ooh. That is some spicy sauce. That is some... That's actually quite nice. I do quite like the red and the blue. Okay. What if that? What does that look like if I chuck on? I'm not a witch anymore, but I am doing bonk slash faith. So I can have a little bit of, like, faith slash witch vibes. What if I try the hood back on? The 
that do anything? I mean, it all gets bunched up in the back, and I don't know how... I don't know whether I'm featuring that. Um... I mean, that covers the face but yet again i mean we've been through a lot this is oh we've just had this is what we're going to stick with for now because we've just we've just had like a major facial change and we really need to like keep the compression bandages on because otherwise it might all go south and we can't have that so <laughs> now we've done that maybe let's consider some greaves black flame monk gauntlets eccentrics manchettes Maybe something that is a bit on the lighter side because obviously we still need to be able to wield stuff. What do Alberic's braces look? They look good with what we've got on. So I know they're probably not the best, but we'll do this for now. And then we're going to do some greaves. Let's have a little look at legs then. Legs, legs, what's on the menu? Good point. I forget to do that, Spinder. Okay. Twin greaves. The Hoslow greaves do seem to make sense. But I know I do like them. I like the motif on them. Let's try this for now. And then when it comes to armaments, we got a few things that we can now use really quite effectively that we couldn't before. So there's like Vare's bouquet. Oh, I can't use the Prelate Inferno thing. Maybe I can use that two-handed. Maybe that's the thing, isn't it? Uh, so I can't do anything with it at the moment. The Malaketh leggings are cool. I can still go and get Malaketh Remembrance as well. But for now, I think we're going to give this a bit of a go. So you said to head up to Ordina. Let's have a little gander at that and see how it goes. So, Ordina's up here. You got, you get, oh, is it? No, it's there. So, I think with this weapon, it's a bit too saucy for me to handle. But I might be able to two-hand it and still use it. However, in the room I'm in, I can't even see whether I can do that because I can't access the animations to be able to even hold it. So... Let's get there. It's all right. We've got it. We've got it. Thank you as well to everyone who's here with the chat in the chat with me. To Tilty, Spinder, Captain JM, Neil Ashley, Logan Blondiao. Hello. Welcome. Are you ready? Let's have a little... So I've two... Right, okay, I've two-handed this now. Okay, so I can two-hand the absolute living crap out of that. Right, okay. I like the bonk, okay? Oh, she's spicier than I first thought. Jeez! All right. Under an arch around the back. Let's try it with this, all right? Under an arch around the back. Let's just check around in the town. I can still roll fine. Under an arch around the back. Let's have a little gander. Some albinorix up there. Let's just check around the back of the actual city itself. Let's have a gander. Aha! Is that... Yes! A black knife! Yes! Black knife, hood, armour, gauntlets, and greaves. Well, wow. Right on for size. See if it needs alterations. Where is it? Ooh, that is pretty. That do be a pretty set of armor. Let me just take that off. Okay. Okay, so it's doing something. I'm pretty sure we got all of the rest of it as well. Is it just the armor that has that buff? Hold your horses. Let me have a gander. Gale armor used by the Black Knife Assassins, forged to make no sound, traces of power yet remain in its concealing veil, which muffles the sound of footsteps. The assassins that carried out the deeds of the Knight of the Black Knives were all women, and rumoured to be new men who had close ties with Marika herself. So, okay, that's what it says on that, but when it comes to the hood and everything... Is 
Is that the hood? The black hood? No, there it is. Black knife hood. Right, okay, so this doesn't seem to say that it has um, the buff on it. Let's just... It's just the chest. Amazing. So, now I'm here. Let me just try out the sacred relic. Because this was one of the things that... This is something that will complement all of the stats of my build very, very nicely. You're so... Look. You're so right about the whole rolling situation. So from now on, we're not that kind of girly. All right, from now on, I have to choose a weapon. Where is that big sword? Everything's gonna be all over the place for a little bit. Please bear with me because you get used to where everything is as well. And now not only have I got a completely different build, but I need to switch out individual weapons, so I'm going to have to get used to where it is. I really cannot find this sword. I literally just had it. What about bows, then? Okay. A bow could be a good choice for me as well. I love using bows in games. Okay, strength and dex, the raptor talons. That could be a situation as well. further up. It is further up. Right. So say if I have the relic sword. Bows are terrible in Souls games. I gathered that. Oh, and it keeps going. Oh, wow. Okay. So if I was to choose that, could I then, in theory have a shield in my offhand. Oh, I don't know if it'll like me doing that. I mean, I've got great arsenal talismans. So it might be alright. Let me just have a gander then. I don't want anything that's too heavy. What about the jellyfish? Let's just go and try a little bit of a fight, all right? Okay, so I can also... There's a lot of Albanorix up here, so I can also two-hand this sword. Right, so... I've got to really figure everything out. So, like I say, you lot, bear on with. Let me just... So, if I'm to two-hand this weapon, right, I can then block with it. Okay. Come on, then, boys. You know, I'll try one of these off the side. Don't... Uh, 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 uh. 
Right, okay. So you've been getting thousands of runes every 20 seconds with this sword fully upgraded, and that's without the pickled Falfa activated. Right, okay. Okay. Well, I must say, what a different experience. You can't really take any hits. Um, well, not you can't take any hits. I guess I must have to be much more on it with the whole blocking and moving situation also my weapons and everything are so absolutely disgustingly under leveled but for the sake of getting used to kind of feeling things out it's all good it's all good so i haven't got enough intelligence for that damn seal right i can use this one still though which will mean that my incantations if i'm correct Okay, I can carry a seal with everything else in my thing. Let me just rest here and let's try some incantations. So I'm going to need to move around all my spells because look, now most of these things that I had are completely negligible. So that needs to go, that needs to go, and that. What I can still do is use certain incantations like the Scouring Black Flame. I'd need more intelligence to use the Law of Regression, which is an absolute bummer, to be honest. But I may have some other incantations that I can use. Let me just get rid of all these. So I've got Lord's Divine Fortification and Golden Vow. This was really good for fighting holy damage people, but can I use... Yes, I can. I can use Flame Grant Me Strength and Flame Cleanse Me. So they can go here and here. Um, these will be my defensive things for now. Blessing of the Erd Tree grants greater blessing to self and nearby enemies. But what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. So, I should, um, defeat dragons and get some dragon incantations. I've killed a lot of dragons. The only thing I haven't done is actually done the blood communion, the dragon communion. So, maybe we will do that in a short amount of time. We'll go and do some of that. So, this is Faith in Arcane, Scaling the Blood Flame Talents. That might be something that actually really helps us out. Um, Noble Presence. Okay. And Black Flame's Protection. Increases physical damage negations. That might be a useful one for me, as far as bolstering goes. And then, Scouring Black Flame Incantation itself. Unendurable Frenzy. Howl of Shabriri. Okay. And it's inescapable. See, these are things we haven't used now. It's opening us up. So it's health regen. Right, okay. So this is some kind of health regen. I'll take it. Or is it better... Okay, produce a golden shockwave that knocks back foes. This is bolstering, isn't it? So if I add that there, let's now fill the rest of this with incantations that are offensive in some way. Erd tree heal. Vastly heals HP for self and nearby... I can't use that yet. I need my faith to be a bit higher, but that's great. So, let's do Wrath of Gold. Order healing alleviates death blight. So I'll take that as well. We'll have a top layer of incantations that are bolstering, and then the rest of them will do an incantation set of things. So say here, this can... This is a favourite, but this I haven't tried. This will knock foes back when they're too close. Handy. Handy Andy. Anti Sandy. Uh, Frozen Lightning Spear. This is really quite a good incantation, as is this one. So let's put Ancient Dragon Strike and let's use the Frozen Lightning Spear here. Unendurable Frenzy. I'm not sure if this targets someone, if it's very good for anything like that, but there's also. Paola Shabriri. Shrieks building up madness in nearby foes. Okay. Latches onto foes to spread madness. I've used Fire's Deadly, Deadly Sin before and I quite liked that. I will be honest with you. Both of these have got a relatively large area of effect. So, yeah, that's what I mean. A lot of this stuff now is completely unusable for me. Rise of Punishment wounds the caster to release a trail of bloodthorns. Let's just add some stuff now, okay? Let's just add some stuff because there's some things we haven't been able to use before that will now work. 
creates the shadow that lures the aggression of foes of human build. Right, okay, so if it's a human, I can use this. Right. Deadly... Deadly what? So people are saying deadly... Hold on. Deadly... Is this the one that's the meme? Hold on. Yeah, deadly. I don't know what you mean by deadly, but I'll um, I'll believe you. <laughs> Ancient death rancor. Awesome. Well, if I can get that, I will get that. The set yourself on fire spell. Oh, fire's deadly scene. Oh, right. Okay, so it's this is a meme. Right, all right. I get what you're saying because it sets you on fire as well. I'm not surprised. Fire's a ring of light before the caster. This could be useful for a bit of more of a long-range moment. I know there is a better version of that, though. I have no idea where to obtain it, but I know there is. Uh, I actually think this ain't bad, you know. I think this can do some damage, so maybe we'll chuck on this. Um, we haven't tried any of these frenzy incantations. Unendurable. Let's try Unendurable Frenzy here. We're just trying things out, alright? And then let's try Discus of Night. I'm also all completely going to have to um, upgrade all my weapons. I'm aware of that. But what I'm going to try now is some of the more faith-based stuff with this build and see what kind of damage or effect, should I say, that we get from it. I would like to collect, obtain the very few runes that I own. Let's try something. Now this is going to be good because I have my flask of physic. I know what that does. What about this one? Okay, so let's get over here. Okay. You know what? The boys up there, isn't there? And they're gonna get on my nerves. Let's do this. Absolute buffoonery. Absolutely buffoonery. I'm fighting like low level Albanorix and just getting destroyed. Destroyed. So, Ancient Death Rancor is good for long range snipe. Awesome. I'll take that. Maybe try it in another area. Spinder, you're probably right there. You're probably right there. Ordina's kind of like a later game area. And I'm here with my mid-level stats, just trying to make it work. So we will do that. I'll collect what little runes I've got. All right, search and destroy mission. Let's get in there and get back out. And then we're going to head back to Limgrave. As I did say, I was going to go back to Limgrave and give things an actual go. Because when you're just getting destroyed all the time, it's a bit hard to get a feel for the combat sense. I mean, the Blood Flame Talon spell did some bits. All right, Get some bits. Okay, let's get down here. Well, <laughs> the way that I'm holding on to this two thousand room. <laughs> Don't take my runes off me. Whatever you do. Spinder, you said it so well. Maybe try it in a better area. Yeah, I think we will. Do I just abandon them runes? I've probably got like 2,000 runes in my inventory just sat there. I said it before. I've said it again. I'm not into liturgy. 
get me my ring. Try one more time. Right, Miss Lost Worlds, girl. Okay, I can use my incantations from here. Oh, I like that. Okay. I don't even know if I've explored this bit. I must have. Get away from these guys. Ugh. Don't tell me they're still coming. You hear me mashing the button. Oh, they're right there. Get away from me. Try it up along Albanoric Avenue near Mobus Palace. That I can do. Just trying to get out of here right now. Yeah, there's loads of Albanorics around here. I mean, it is the liturgical town where they all live. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to have to upgrade. Alright, I'm going to have to upgrade my weapons. But, I know you were all saying to go... Um, hold on, where was Tilty saying? Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to have to upgrade this sword before I do all that. Let me think. Where can I go? Where I can fight some kind of, like, decent beginner-style enemies. I know exactly where I can go to find something that's not too much of a burden. Where is it? Not the missed words. Not all of that. Not all of that. Not all of that. That. I literally get so lost in this map. It's okay. Let's go this way. So yeah, I do need to upgrade the weapons basically before they're going to be anything effective at this point. Um, going to an earlier game area is going to help in a way because it's going to mean that things are slightly less baller. Because... I think the way that games like this seem to work is the area can dictate, in a way, the level of what you're facing. So I've re I was a very high intelligence build, but I think what I'm going for now is a bit more all-rounded, um, with hopes of moving to the DLC. So let's give this a go. Let's just try against some of these boys, because they are relatively small fry. Let's just try some incantations. Incantations for the nations. Right, okay, so... Can I get in here? Oh, work. Oh, okay. Come through, Discs of Light. Eat it. Love that. All right. We feature her. All right, pal. Didn't like that. Okay. Come on then, Seth. You want some? Huh? You want some? Try some of Oh! Not bad! Not bad! Not bad against some early game enemies. Alright. Alright. Not angry. Um, definitely the more faith-leaning spells, as it's one of my main stats, are doing good work. And good work on this day. We haven't tried this. I haven't tried Unendurable Frenzy. What's it do? Oh, 
Ooh. Doing all of that, are we? Does appear so. Okay. I have got to upgrade this weapon, but for just messing with these guys at this point, I'm enjoying it. What else can we do? We didn't get that to work before, did we? No, we didn't get the frozen lightning spear to work. But let's try it. Still, still pretty baller, you know. It is going to be a little bit of time, I think, of me figuring out exactly what is giving me the source. Up the jack seat. Don't like that, dear. Okay. I'm, um... I don't know how I feel about the outfit. Uh, let's take this off for a start. Yes, I feel much better. <laughs> let's, um... What does the hood look like with it? What does this hood look like? The Sanguine Noble one. Ooh. I mean, this is a bit of a vibe, right? With the red and the... Okay. We'll do all that for now. So, that is really not that bad. Now, up here to the left, there is a bit more of a saucy fight with a big troll in that. Let me see if... It will hold up. That works well. The, I like the fact that the discus of light goes off and comes back. That's cool. If I'm correct, there's one that's called triple rings of light, which is basically the same thing. It fires three of them at the same time. Got no clue where to get that, but that looks like a good one. I literally seem to be getting absolutely zero runes from doing any of this. But it's all right. So... What I was going to try is... Now, when I did this on my original playthrough, I found it quite hard. All right. I need more in for three rings of light. Okay. Now, Golden Vow. I can always level up intelligence a little bit as we go on. But I'm going to do some buffing, I think. No, I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to go in. And there's these guys up in the back that make it really quite difficult. I'm going to get obliterated here. I just know it because I'm not familiar. does something, right? Oh. It's all good. Getting it, getting it, getting it. How about this one, honey? You have to keep the shield out to use its buff. Oh, okay, I can't do that with incantations. It's so dumb. That's fine. I could always put the incantations in the right hand. That might do me a bit better. Because then I can switch between them quite easily. Yeah, so actually, when it comes to incantations, this should probably actually still be in the right hand because I seem to be using the incantations when I am doing a bit more of a ranged attack. And to be honest, that doesn't usually encompass me having the thingy in the other hand, which means that I can use the buff from the shield 
or whatever weapon art I've got on the shield by switching out to that. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Now, what are the weapons? So we've we've discovered the sacred relic is lovely. We like her. Before I start upgrading things, like what kind of damage does this have? Because obviously we're gonna need a setup that complements certain scenarios in different ways. So the sacred relic is physical. It's a great sword. It's a standard slash pierce damage. Right. Okay. Oh no, mixing sword and mage is far better. Right, okay, so you'd... You happy? Where is it? Let's just put that back in there. All right, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. So, what was I doing? I was just trying to check out the different kinds of damage because this in example is saying it's a standard slash pierce damage. As I've learned in this game, there are different enemies that respond well to different types of physical damage, which you have to factor in. So, I think that my solution for the big bonk Okay, so, hold on. Where's my big bonk? I also can use the Blasphemous Blade. That actually isn't bad. That wouldn't be bad in this build. So that's a good choice. So we've got the Taker's Flame. Which is a really good way to bring all your health back if you're in a fight that's a bit too saucy. So I guess that's not a bad choice as well, but we can already wield that absolutely fine. That is, once again, standard and pierce, but that gives me a fire option. Do you get where I'm going? I've got a holy damage. I've got a fire damage and also something that will give me health back. I'm just trying to figure out how to play with this build. <laughs> Now, where's the bonk? I would like the bonk. I have a big bonk. Yeah, okay. I can two-hand this quite easily. That is for certain. And this is a strike weapon. It's a colossal strike weapon. But to be honest, the Axe of Godfrey is standard. See, this is the thing. This is a standard damage weapon similar to what we've got. Will also be something I'm guessing that we could use quite well. Ah! Oh, thank you! I did not even... I didn't even think of talismans. Spinda, I didn't even think of talismans. How have I just overlooked talismans this whole time? Yes. So... Talismans. Let's do a bit of this. So this will raise the vitality. I need to really evaluate all of these talismans again, to be honest. Great Jars Arsenal, I will keep. This is pretty good as well. This needs to come off in sodas. Yeah, the Moon of Noxella I ain't gonna need. I ain't gonna need that. So eventually I will swap all these rounds as well. Let's just try Godfrey's Axe. Oh, it's giving. I mean, he did bonk me with it a few times. He did. If you want to see that, click the link in the description. <laughs> Girlie be mad. Miss Thing be mad. Okay. So, Axe of Godfrey is kind of a shout. I don't know what the weapon of Godfrey Elden Lord. It was broken in a battle fought as the leader of the Tarnish during the Long March. This weapon is symbolic of Godfrey's vow to conduct himself as a lord, later becoming an emblem of the Golden Lineage. In the days of the past, a crown was warranted with strength. Unique skill, regal roar, lets loose a mighty war cry, raising attack power while sending out a shockwave that cannot be guarded against by stomping the ground. That's really handy. I bet that does a decent amount of um, damage as well. Scream charges, strong attack, awesome. One thing I am just looking at right below this is the Bolt of Grand Sacks. Let's just have a little look. Let's have a little look at that, shall we? I mean, I mean, okay. Let's try it. 
So we never actually could wield this before. The Ancient Lightning Spear. Okay. Also with the Bolt of Grand Sacks. It's a pierce weapon, so that could be my option for a pierce weapon. That like if something needs piercing damage. And the Ash of War on it looks pretty baller, so that's a good shout as well on that one. Okay. I'm finding my feet. I'm finding my feet. Okay, so there's a lot more other weapons better for strength. That's fine. Genuinely, I'm not... I'm not trying to maximise on everything fully. I will tailor this build eventually to suit me a bit more. And the thing is, you've got to remember... Oh, this is already on plus eight. The Banished Knight's Halberd is already on plus eight. That's not bad. Have I got anything else that's already upgraded? Apart from things that I upgraded. I've got a bow, which I upgraded once and was really disappointed about. Okay, no staffs. We're not doing staffs, Cindy. I'm a new person. Any of these brass shields or any of this got any upgrades on them? It's worth having a look. Okay, I have a Banished Knight Halberd. I haven't really tried. What does she do? Okay, spinning strikes. Okay. So I'm guessing I could also add a different Ash of War on here, which I've got loads of. So if we like a weapon, don't mean we have to just have one. However, if I'm correct, you can do a bit of a dual wheel situation. So if I go down to Halberd as well... As the shop online whilst watching Elden Ring. 10 out of 10, honey. 10 out of 10. That is exactly the kind of thing you should be doing whilst watching my stream. So we've got some halberds here. Can we do a double halberd situation? Is that the source? Dragon halberd looks pretty good, you know. Can I put that in the other hand? And if so, does that mean we get a dual wield situation? certainly does. Awesome. Okay. Is there a special Ash of War on that other one? You know, they're both spinning slash weapons, but if I go back, can I change that on either of them? I can change it on the la, 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 Banish Night Halberd plus eight. I could change the Ash of War on that. That could be quite useful. If I'm in a situation. Okay, so the Dragon Halberd does have a special spinning slash. What can that be? Oh, be harsh. Oh, okay. So, you know me, I do like a dual wield situation. And that, right there, honey, looks like a bit of me. Obviously, I've got to be a bit more careful with the amount of magic I'm using in that. But I'm guessing this charges your weapon for a certain amount of time. Dang. Okay. I'll take it. So that is actually a pretty good idea. It has a follow-up. Right. Okay. That's good. I like that. So I'm just trying to put it in my mind, right? So these guys are most certainly um, a go for a bit of a dual wield moment for me. Can I roll? I can roll. For some reason, on my game, sometimes the roll sound just disappears. So I do apologise for that. Don't understand it. Like, can you hear? It's like I'm moving. It's because of the black knife armour. I just thought, I was like, why can't I hear myself move? Black knife armour. Can't hear it. Well, well, right. So, that's a good shout on them. This is why I wanted to do this all again, because if you remember when I first did this, there was categorically no way I could use half of this stuff. So I'm guessing I could do the Bolt of Grand Sacks. I'm just trying to figure out what things, right, will be worth me in any way upgrading. 
Urumi and Hoslow's Petal Whip causes blood loss build up. Right, okay, so this is Strike. Let's try it. I don't know if the whips are any good. I've never used one. But that, my darlings, is what we're all about. Oh, that feels nice. Okay, is there a special Ash of War? Just kick. Alright, but I can put a different Ash of War on there if needs be. Right? So that's pretty interesting. What the other way? Can you double wield? Do not tell me you can double wield whips, because if so, that is absolutely disgusting, and I love it. All right, in Elden Ring, the whips are all right, but in other in other Souls games, I take it they're um, not always the choice. I'm guessing. So let me take this off a second. I am just experimenting with things. That's why I was saying tonight's stream, want to keep it casual, try a load of stuff. You know, we've got time before the DLC, but. I like that. Let me just go and slap someone up with that. I just want to have the satisfaction at least of trying to slap someone up with this. Are you ready? Okay. Damage ain't bad, you know. If I could dodge at the right time. <laughs> I must say, that is more satisfying than I would like to admit. <laughs> that is... Yes. Okay. The whips are, are making me happy. So, now I'm kind of familiarising myself with a bit more of this stuff. It's alright. Now, considerably a lot less damage. However, if I wanted to invest the time in upgrading them... Or maybe even just the one. It may be worth it. Hmm. I think the Hoslow's one would be the choice of whip. Just purely because of the fact that it causes blood blood loss buildup. And I can add an Ash of War to it. I could probably add one to the other one as well. But no worries. Oh, I have realised one thing though. And you've all realised it too before I have. But that is Tish gone. I, I literally... I've got loads of summons. But that'll be... Hold on. I think if I drink... Hold on. If I drink my physic, I should still be able to summon her. Because... Let me just try it. It's alright. It's alright, me and Tish. We're still... I didn't want her to have to, you know, be unceremoniously shoved out of the game. So... Oh, okay. So the Arumi is actually the better one, and the other one makes, um... And it can pierce enemies. Awesome. Right, okay, so it goes through enemies. Oh, okay. Okay, alright, alright. So what we got here? We got the guitar. So these are for the fist. Strength, dex, and arcane. Clean bow. What? Perfect weapon made from hardened skeletal arm, wielded by Ensher of the Royal Remains. Fitted by placing one's hands into the fist grips until they dig in. O oh, clinging creature, a king relinquishes not the hand. Skill that demonstrates mastery of the art of controlling vital energies. A slow controlled punch with an energy infused fist that renders foes unconscious and steals their HP. Mm. Let's try it. Yeah, we'll try it. What was that? What was what was that random piece of text? It was giving Lord of the Rings. Who is she? You. The Cypher Parta. This is for the fist as well. Okay, let's try them out. Life Steel Fist. Is that like a little hand? Oh, I'm just holding its hand. It's just like a bone. Right, okay. Oh, and that's a little... Oh, it's very Assassin's Creed. Oh, I like that. Unblockable blade. Gosh. So if I do one of these and he picks up his shield... Well. Well, well, well. 
I think I found my new assassination weapon. <laughs> okay. I like that. <laughs> I do like that. Clinging bone. Let me just go across to that, because that had a unique Ash of War as well. Fist can be two-handed to have two in each hand. Wait, hold on. So, if I do that, and then... Stop! Right, okay. Spingle, spangle. I'm about to fight. Are you ready? I'm not ready. Unblockable blade, sis. You want some? Shit, man. <laughs> oh, here they come. Here they are, here they are, here they are. You want some punk, huh? Oh, okay, okay. Let me just, let me just do it there. And then we're gonna do... <laughs> Do. We're gonna get on back a torrent. I don't know if you're aware, but that didn't work. What I want to do is the following. What? What's going on? Literally, why are my incantations just not working? That's what I've been trying to do the whole time. Oh, go away, leave me alone. Right, you boys up in here, you need to back off. Right, back off, huh? Oh, you didn't even get hit by that at all. Of course. Okay. I'm getting the two-handed thing now. Takes some time, but... Ah! Wrong button! Wrong button! Wrong button! My fault. I'm so into that. So I was two-handing the seal and that was what was ruining me to do my incantations. That sounds about right. <laughs> I like these. I do like these little, um, what are they called? Cypher Parta, whatever they're called. I, I like them. Okay, so one of you was saying something earlier about, um, let me just try some of these. Does he like it up the Jaxi? Is it good for assassinating? Oh, there's two. Okay, so the first one's a bit of a poke, and then it's yeet yeet. Right, okay, with the Ash of War Endurance, you can get free poise for then casting spells without being interrupted. Right, okay. I wish I knew what that meant. Is that a summon sign? Why is a rando-ass summon sign on the floor? Right, we're going to have to sort that out. I'm quite into this little setup. What's this? A chamber lies under the ruins. Right, okay. I don't think that was there at the beginning of the game. And I do know about that chamber. I do. I've got a fresh one in the chamber. So at this point, there's quite a few... There's quite a few different things that I've kind of come to terms with as far as fighting that I know I can use. I'm not using any talismans now. Right, what we need to do... All right, we are going to head back to the Table of Lost Grace. And we're not ending stream. What we are doing is we're going to upgrade some weapons. I've literally left my phone screen on this whole time. And as a result of that, it's about to die. But yes, we are going to head back and reevaluate some of these weapons. And I'm going to decide whether I should or shouldn't upgrade certain things and do some certain things. I'm quite enjoying these guys. This Cypher Parter stuff. Is there a better one in that class? I mean, 
Zero attack physical power. That's the only thing with that. I do like it, but it's holy damage through and through. The veteran's prosthesis. Choices, choices, choices. I think I need to deliberate 100%. Definitely deliberate on this before I think of doing any other weapons apart from one thing I am going to do is the Sacred Relic Sword because I have a strong feeling. Oh, I can also, um, oh, I didn't think I can also twin, um, twin blades. Yeah. So the Gargoyles, twin blades, and, um, the other ones, I can dual wield them as well. And they're really good weapons. This is what I was thinking. This is what I was thinking. I know a lot of the DLC bosses are going to be um, holy damage related, possibly in a way. So this is my thought of going for more of a strength slash faith build. Maybe the elemental damage that I'm used to might not be my friend. So we'll try something new. This, I do know that these two are a really good mix, especially for a dual wield situation. Uh, so much to think about but let's just first equip we need to upgrade this other seal because it's a lot better so let me see I can't even use it yet I need an intelligence level that's stronger so I don't know if I'm going to invest in that right at this moment uh. yeah I need an intelligence of 17 so the black blade version of the gargoyle thing sucked right okay noted Two things that I think I'm definitely going to do right now is the Sacred Relic, which I think I'll start with. Okay. <coughs> it's one of the last items you get, and by logic, you know, it's one of the best. Oh, no, I can't use my greatsword. Dolly Parton's going to be so upset with me. And the Golden Order greatsword as well. Also not a bad option, but sacred relic now 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 mon petit pois my little chicken amulet um we must go I need the earth tree seal I would like that that would be nice I don't know where any of these seals are have I just simply not come across them no. alright Yugi it's all good Can I get a Somber plus three from the ladies down the road? That'd be the question. Have I got that bell bearing yet? Because the, the Husk Maidens, we can get them to give us more stuff, but also there are still, um, I think there's still a few bell bearings and um, books I can pick up. I'm not sure. Somber level three. How many runes have I got? Let's just get one for now. We've got them here. It's all good. I might have more of a higher level, see? The issue is I haven't got this specific stone. Prison town, church, site of grace, in Volcano Manor. In a cellar near the Omen Killer. Wow. You lot are wild. Spinda, I love it. Thank you. But the way that you know everything so specifically is so iconic. Typical me, guess what I need? A level four. Let's do it. We're going to start by investing in this and anything else that I can do along the way. But we'll be good. Oh, 100% Spinder, and I don't expect that at all. But, you know, if you're providing me a solution and you would be gracious enough, then I appreciate it. And if not, I'll deal. It ain't that deep. Number four. I know some of you are probably going absolutely mad that I'm not like checking everything I've got. I don't retain numbers um, very well. So I won't be doing all of that. It will take longer, but it does mean that I have to go here and there and here and there. All right. Um, okay. 
We're on plus seven right now. Can I get a somber level eight from him? I don't know if I have one that's that big. Okay. Wait, gone. I'm so all over my place with the inventory right now because I simply cannot. I just simply can't. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put it in this hand just so it's ready for later. That's the thing, like, and the thing is, I don't think that anyone in their right mind, um, I don't think that anyone in their right mind knows absolutely every single thing about this game. I feel like you could still play it, like, five or six times and not quite get absolutely everything. And that's the beauty of the replayability of it. I needed to go back and see I've got confused now. I need to go back in here and check if they got Somber level 8s for me. I want to get it as high as I can right now. I've got level 8s but I ain't by any means got enough money. Runes even. How much are they? Because I have got some runes in my inventory. That's going to cost 20,000. Okay. I'm going to need to go and level up a little bit more. So... Alexander. When it comes to Faramazula, I've got no clue what would be going on with Alexander. And to be honest, that place would absolutely destroy me right now. But what I'm going to do is... Now I've done that, I've got a Sacred Relic Sword, which is on plus seven. And that ain't bad. What I need to do is attend to my talismans, because I tell you, I tell you, this is a lot. Raises maximum or greatly. That's also Cerulean Seed Talisman. Boost FP restoration from the Flask of Cerulean. That's not really important to me right now. The Slowly Restore HP, I could get behind. And the Earth Tree's Favor. Okay. HP, Stamina, and Equip Load. That's not bad. I've got a physical damage negation one, which is good because when you're up close to people, it's heinous. Now, yeah, basically, Tilty, that's going to be the plan. That's going to be the plan. I'm going to start playing Elden Ring off stream because I know that for some people, right, I understand if you're playing this on your own, you would sink hundreds of hours into just grinding out and doing those things i have to think of who's watching and not everybody wants to see me do the same thing over and over for hours at a time so i know you may not mind but i do have to consider everybody and therefore i will be playing a bit of elden ring off stream but we will be um oh that's quite cool we will be uh doing a lot less elden ring streams coming up however they'll still be at least weekly um, just purely for the sake of keeping it moving, obviously. I want to make sure that we keep things fresh for you lot. And we've got a lot of Elden Ring coming this year. Because when that DLC drops, I'm back in it. So, Hammer. So, let me have a little look. Enhances guard counters. I don't even know how to do a guard counter. And that's something I need to learn on. Enhances charge attacks. That might help. Let's just try some random stuff, right? Let's try some random stuff. Raises vitality could be a good one. Immunity. Focus. Okay, so this mottled necklace greatly raises robustness, immunity, and focus, which might help me out. So I'll check that on for now. Perfumer. Charge spells and skills, fours and breath attacks. Fire attacks, but lowers damage negation. Improves dodge rolling, but increases damage taken. No, thank you. Attack power when HP is at maximum. Right. Defense HP. Critical hits restore FP. That's not bad. I don't think that could be too bad for mine. Um, right. Yeah, thank you, Tilty. I try and keep it moving. I always got to try and keep it moving as much as what I'm on about. Um, and I have to be conscious of that. 
I don't want to be another one of these streamers that just sits here and pretend you're not there. I'm not that person, all right? So, conceals while crouching. I mean, we've got the Black Knives armor that's going to do that anyway. Um, we'll be lost at the sacrificial twig. So, is this a consumable? Right. Okay, so if you use the sacrificial twig as a talisman, once it is lost, it is lost. Right. So, successive attacks restore HP, restores HP upon defeating enemies. That could be good. Um, these, this is just a really loose going into it, trying to decide. You know, that could be good. Stargazer raises my intelligence. I don't know. That might be a benefit to me at some point. I don't think right now is that time, but... Star Scourge Heirloom raises strength. This raises dexterity. That could just, like, take us to another level of Chad, couldn't it? I guess. Um, this also wouldn't be bad, but I don't think I'm running out of stamina that much. Greatly raises maximum FP. This might be good for the faith incantations and for the fact that I simply am just used to using magic. And I'm going to rely a lot on the faith aspect of the build. So FP might be a good show. Now, these score seals, etc. I mean, they do some bits, don't they? I mean, but it'll increase damage taken. I'm not sure how much the barrier for how much damage taken this actually does. Um, but I'm pretty sure that it's more than just a negligible amount. So, <laughs> this last talisman's going to trip me up, I know it. Raise vitality. Maybe I'll just go for the Prince Death Pustule. No, nah, it's bad. I thought it was bad. I didn't think it was worth it, you know. Raise focus or vitality. I'll take vitality because I feel like that's absolutely nipping me in the bud at the moment. So I've got the taker's cameo. I've got this. Um, and I've got the great jars arsenal, which I will need to be able to just use categorically anything. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to head to Moog's Palace. And I'm going to try and give some of these Albanorics a bit of a what for. I'm not 100% sure. Dynasty Mausoleum entrance. I know it's somewhere around here. All right. Yeah, so I'm just kind of soft launching all of this. And I will play a bit of Elden Ring in my own time. Just for a bit of rune farming. I'll just stand there and just mash out runes. <laughs> and I am up for doing a PvP stream as well. If anyone is interested, let me know. I already know two of my friends from back in Wales are actually playing on PS4. Um, so we might do a bit of that as well. Just for a bit of a laugh. Um... But yeah, stick around. I don't know exactly where it is I'm headed to do this, but I know there is a certain area where there's just loads of Albanorix chilling. And you can slice them up, love. Where are they? It's up here. It's so weird having heard your footsteps for so long. I don't think this is where I want to be, you know. I can't remember where they were. Let's go down here. Search for the zone with a bunch of sleeping albinorics and a grace. That's what I was looking for. And I don't know if I've found it yet. So we're going to have a little gander. And see what the sitch is. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So yeah, things, like I say, now we've completed the main story. Things will be changing as far as stream goes, but I'm still aiming to give you at least one Elden, string, Elden Ring stream a week. Be that me, just farming and chatting with you all. That's all good. If you'd want to see me maybe talk a bit more about, I don't know, law or whatever, I'm into it. I'm into it. But obviously we've got a lot to come. And... 
you know, I wouldn't want to, um... Okay. Bye! change my incantations because this is not what I'm featuring. Okay. Yeah, I very much haven't unlocked um, the grace I'm after. I should really, really have changed my spells, but here I am. Okay. So I can't get my map up because clearly Yarl's back there be mad. bunch of albinorics there, but I don't think that's what I'm looking for, because they're all walking around. I forget the sky down here is so pretty. Is that them? Let's just give him one. Ain't bad, ain't bad, ain't bad. Someone told me to belt uphill on Torrent. Well. Let's explore. Let's find this grace in this situation. I need that stone. Bye, everyone. Bye. There's actually a lot down here we didn't really explore, which makes me very nervous because I've just restarted my whole character. I concede! Yay! Um, no, actually. I don't think so. No, a lot of this I'm not into. You're all saying it's uphill somewhere. Oh, Halig Drake Talisman. That might be something new. I really don't know where I'm going. But, we're gonna make it work. It's worth doing, because there's quite a lot of stuff around here that I haven't even found. Okay, we got some cookbooks. We said we wanted to get some cookbooks, so that's all good. Yeah, so I'll come on, I'll come on off stream, basically, and do a little bit of um, room farming. And then we'll come on here and do some other bits, right? Is it up there? Because... Hmm. I'll try it. I've got a stone sword. Yeah, down here... Doesn't seem to be providing me with a way off. Now, I just don't want to pick any crazy fights. We will come back and explore this, but I don't want to pick any crazy fights right at the same time. Oh. Leave me alone. I'm getting out of here. It's clearly not around here. Okay. That's just... I'm just getting on all of these guys' nerves so much. They're like, why are you here? What are you doing? And I'm like, I'm acting the fool. What on earth is going on? 
Oh, it's a blooming mariner. Right, we've got some bits to do down here anyway. Right, let me just reorientate myself. Because I feel like I need to be able to see the map to kind of figure out what's going on. Because the second I step down into there, I can't see where I'm going. Right, let's have a little moment and just orientate myself. Because just riding around there, though it was fun, it terrified me. Flasks, thank you. Added, yes. Yes, now. Let me, just for a second, sort this all out. These are all pretty good, to be fair. They actually are. Frozen Lightning, Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike. Maybe some of these buffs don't need to be here. I, I only will selectively need certain things at certain times. Flame Cleanse Me is going to be handy down here. Um, physical and Fire Affinity and Attack. I don't think I'm going to be doing much with fire. Maybe I am. Who knows? But what I did want is something to give me a little bit of range. That's what I wanted. So I'm going to swap Wrath of Gold out now for this. Because that incantation was kind of helping me out. I know I'm far too back. I do apologise. But, um... Okay. So. I was tootle tootling all down and around here, wasn't I? One of you is saying to kind of go up the rocks. I'm here at the moment. To go down the rocks the other side. So, in the same direction. I'm guessing it's going to be around here. I'm not sure. Must be. There's got to be some kind of grace in this area. Surely. Because... That's the cocoon of the Empyrean. And that is kind of halfway up the hill to the Dynasty Mausoleum. It must be in this general area, surely. Because I kept coming down around this side of the rocks. Maybe I need to come down this side of the rocks. And I'm going to try that now. I can't get on torrent here. I need to come back down. Yeah, bear left instead of right. Stick to the left. Awesome. Let's do that. Looking for a farming area. If anyone's wondering what I'm looking for, I'm looking for a farming area. There left. Yes, there were those rocks in the middle. There. And I went down to the right. Load of sleeping albinoid right here. There's loads of them sleeping in these caves. Swarm of flies. That's new. That might be an incantation I can use. Right, there's a hill. This does look more like it, doesn't it? Correct, there is a grace in the vicinity somewhere. There's loads of these guys. Jeez Louise, Papa Cheese. Moving on up. 
Moving on up. Right, usually a grace is somewhere that's relatively safe, right? And I mean, this ain't giving me safe. Ah, oh, there it is. I see it. I found it. Thank you for the guidance, Tilty. That's thing you know. I feel like it's one of those things like people try and guide me sometimes, but I almost do better with a very loose guide. Like when it gets very specific, it becomes quite like difficult. And I will say, Tilty, you do a very good job at pointing me in a general direction to what I'm going for. You know, loves to see it because it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. Palace ledge around whom? So now, basically, the reason we came here is because look at all these bad boys. And what we're going to do is just stand here. We're going to first change my talisman to. We won't need that really. So let's change it to the gold scarab. And then let's also see. So I want to do this as well as I possibly can. Yeah, we're going to grab the gold pickle falfa, which is going to boost our rune acquisition for a small time. And we're going to slice these babies up. Are you ready? I've literally just taken it back. <laughs> so all of these sleepy babies, right? Are you ready? We're going to face this way. We're going to bop a falfa. Now watch this. I think this is why, and that's why this one is like one of the best places in the game for doing this, isn't it? And if I'm correct, I can kind of come down here and do the same thing. But yeah, I don't want to do whole streams of just me doing this because I know it's the grind and I appreciate that. I forgot about that. I literally forgot about that. No, 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 no. That's why I didn't come this way the last time, because I was not featuring these boys. Whatever Moog's done to him, it ain't cute. Okay, so if I'm correct, what you do is, once you've done that, you jump back on Torrid. And you go back up here to the Grace that's very close by, just like that. And then you get here again. And then... Do we still again? But what we're going to do is see if we can make golden foul foot. I don't know how to make golden foul foot. The fool! Boo-boo. The fool, mama. That's why I need to upgrade my um, crafting setup. Have I got anything else I can stack for rune acquisition? I doubt it. Oh, well. We are going to do. Let's just do this again. And then you stand here and you do this. Walk down a little bit more. Right. And when you get to these boys, do it again. Right? You run back. He's got four times of runes on his head. When they got sparkly eyes, they dropped four times the amount of runes. There we go. There we go. So when you got some runes, basically a lot of it is just doing that. Hold on. Okay, so you only need to do two strikes and you run back quick because you only get a limited time. Okay, so basically you just do this over and over if I'm correct. And this is a way to get runes. Now, if I can milk out, just milk. Oh, that's disgusting milk out. <laughs> if I can just rinse a few times. So I need to do it twice. So if I come here and do this, I'm guessing I can then run forward 
and do this. And then run back. Correct. And then when you get back here, you sit down. And bada big bada boom. We've got a level. Which is all I ever wanted. All I ever wanted was a level. All I want is me level, please. Because I'm dirty on my knees. Oh, so even doing it once and reset, you can get more damage. So some, some people saying the double cast isn't worth it. Right, okay. Thank you for that nugget of information. Most appreciated. So, what am I doing? I've got some vigor. Mind, I'm not really worried about too much. Endurance, I'm okay on. Really, if I'm going to upgrade anything at this point, it'd be either strength or faith. And I'm going to say faith. Because my strength is higher than my faith. And I want to kind of bolster them similarly to each other, if I'm correct. So, we're going to do all that. Yes. 100,000 Gaja Bazillions percent. And you know what? I've got to say, I have enjoyed it. Look at our person. I'm so proud of this build. I'm so I'm so proud of this tarnished warrior. They've been through so much. Let, we just need to take in the beauty. Let me take my hood off. We've just been through so much, all right? We've been through far too much in these lands between. Let me just have a little sit, a little rest. All right. How do I look? Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful in the face. Just how I want it to look. Love to see it. We're just going to take in this view for a second. And what I think I'm going to do, my darlings, is say an absolutely major thank you. I pushed the wrong button and that's on me. But yes, that's going to be it for today, I think. Like I say, moving forward, Elden Ring streams, we're still going to be doing them every week. I'm going to do some farming off stream and genuinely I do need to do quite a bit more. So I think the next time that I come back, we will be clearing this area out some more. All right. 100%. I want to say a major thank you to all of you as always for the continued support. We've hit 400 today. So that's a really, really good stuff. A major shout out to Tilty Spinder Wheel, Captain JM, Neil Ashley and absolutely everyone who is out there watching at home. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for always supporting. We are doing an indie game on Friday. Yes, we are. We're playing a game on Friday that I really, really quite enjoyed. I started playing it in my own time and I was like, I want to play this with you lot. So if you are here and you want to catch Friday's stream, put that bell on because it is about lunchtime in the day. It's a bit of a different time slot, all right? And hence a different vibe. And the beginning of next week, um, I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start Lies of P on Monday and Tuesday, all right? Just to kind of get myself into it. And then we'll switch back over to Elden Ring again. I think I'm gonna start doing Elden Ring on a Friday, okay? So, remember, notification bell on, change your underwear, dismantle the patriarchy. If you haven't already, subscribe, biatch. And I will see you next time. Yes, I will. And you know what, everybody? I can now, at the end of this stream, finally say, I'm a strength build, babes. I am a strength build. It finally... Ha I manifested it. Look at that. So, yes. Thank you very much. Arrivederci, goodbye. And I will see you on Friday. Alakazam, balakahuha. Oh, sorry.